Every day at the Lieber Institute for Brain Development in Baltimore, scientists hold in their hands the most important and complex organ in our bodies. These samples are the, are the key to unlocking some really big secrets. We think so. We think that to, to understand human brain structure and function, you have to have human brain tissue ultimately. And we are lucky that we have such a great repository of tissue to work with here. The repository here also has something unique, a collection of more than 700 brains donated by the families of African-American individuals who've passed away. There's very little African-American brain science research that's been done so far. Dr. Daniel Weinberger is trying to change that. He's the man behind a new initiative at Lieber, specifically studying the brains of black people to close a long-standing gap that's left minorities behind when it comes to scientific research. For decades, he says scientists have focused on European genomes, which are less complex. But the work happening here now could uncover new medical solutions by unlocking the unique and significantly older genetic ancestry of the African-American community. This is an opportunity to fill in many of the, of the missing pieces in understanding, which I think will have very broad implications for the whole population. But with this specific kind of science a test program for work in comes sensitivity and cynicism from a community subjected to the Tuskegee syphilis study and the notorious case of Henrietta Lacks, a black woman from Baltimore whose cells were used for decades without her family's consent to make medical discoveries. How do you address their concerns? There is real skepticism, there's no question about that. Reverend Alvin Hathaway, a well-known Baltimore pastor, says transparency from Lieber's leaders prompted African-American clergy to partner with the organization. They acknowledge the fact that the genome data system is basically a European data set. In fact, only 16% of the world is of European descent, but the vast majority of genomic data that exists is based on that ancestry. The chance to change that and to make potentially groundbreaking discoveries when it comes to brain disorders like Alzheimer's is just too powerful for Hathaway and others to pass up. I realized that they were on the cusp of some amazing potential investigative understandings that could help families like mine. And I said, I'm in. Yes, sir. In for an initiative that puts the focus on finding medical solutions, not just for some, but for all. I'm Josie Sturman for Spotlight on America.